let this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Oh. Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Yeah. Next thing that you know, you see it. Yeah. Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sound wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at your intestine, take your second right past Mars. I'm a magic school bus. Navigator Nostril, I'm on the magic school bus. Make a plane to two. Take that, I'm a magic school bus. Rock the river of lava, I'm a magic school bus. Such a fine thing to do. <laughs> so strap your bones right to the seat. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete, you might get baked into a pie on a magic school bus. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, ride on the magic school bus. Yeah. Heads up, guys! Here it comes. Uh. Class. But let's see a little more spirit. Move those bodies. Get your back into it, Arnold. Good. Now bend your knees, Varga. That's it. I got it. I got it. Oof. More wrist, Carlos. It's all in the wrist. <laughs> Poor Ralphie. He doesn't look very happy cleaning the bus all by himself. <laughs> It's his turn, Phoebe. Besides, we're always doing things for Ralphie. Like, how many times have I clapped the erasers for him or cleaned the hamster cage? You know, just yesterday, he asked me to change the water in the goldfish bowl for him because he was late for soccer practice. Uh, I tell you, Liz, using all this elbow grease is wearing me out. I've got to take a break. If only I had a robot that could do my work for me. Think about it, Liz. We'd never have to clean the bus again. Hey, a guy can dream, can't he? The truth is, what is the highway of life all about? If not to enjoy the detours. <laughs> like practicing my hook shot. Or perfecting my curve. Or working on my slap shot. What would you say if I built a robot to do all our chores? A robot? Cool. Oh, no. <laughs> I'd say that was the silliest idea you've ever had. Silly is as silly does. Or doesn't. Oh, excuse me, Ralphie. I need to get out of the sun. You can't be serious, Ralphie. You can't build a robot. Oh, yeah? Wanna bet? Sure. But if you can't come up with a robot, no baseball, no basketball, and no soccer. And you have to do all the chores. Still want to bet? Well, I, uh, I can do it if everybody helps. I mean, once the robot's built, none of us have to do chores again. Maybe we can do it. We won't know unless we try. Way to go, Wanda. Keisha, you gotta bet. Whoa, whoa! I'm out of there, bud. Looks like the Mesmer Glover Blue Gasket. On to the bus class. This is an emergency. Ms. Frizzle, wait! Sorry, we have a busy, busy day ahead. No time for waiting. Only time for taking chances, making mistakes, getting messy. Huh? Hop in, Ralphie. I wonder if this could be another. Nah, it couldn't be. Yeah! <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Frizzle, but there's something important I have to do. Well, you're on the right bus, Ralphie, because where we're going, there's something for everyone to do. We're here! Ah! 
Presenting the one-of-a-kind, satisfaction-guaranteed, service with a scowl, Body Shop. What? Look at all that stuff. Just what I need to make a robot. How do we get across, Miss Frizzle? Uh, across? Time no see, Valerie! They must know each other! Class, meet Radius Ulna Humorous, magical mechanic at large. Humorous? As in upper arm bone? Or are you humorous? As in really funny? <laughs> I love it! Carlos! Are you is the genius who taught me everything I know about bus anautics? You must have forgotten it all, or else this bus has acquired a split personality. Or else it's the mesmer globber behind the shrinkerscope, which I believe is still under warranty. I'll check it, Val, but you caught me at a bad time. I'm expecting another customer. More important than moi? <laughs> no one's more important than you, my little toggle bolt. My little toggle bolt? Let's get back in! The coast is clear. Let's start building that robot. I still say it'll never work. We don't even know where to start. It's simple. All we have to do is build a robot that looks like me. Like this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. How hard can it be? Just attach a doohickey like this to something like this. Hmm. Be right back. Watch your flank, my little sprocket. Careful, my feisty flywheel. Ignition! <laughs> hmm, the bus has never done that before. It's definitely not the Glasberg Lover. Oh, well, maybe it's the Plane Dabber. Excuse me, Miss Frizzle. Let's say you wanted to, uh, build something. You mean build character? Build a new and better tomorrow. Or build a robot that would do all your chores. Um, probably closest to that last one. You <laughs> can't build a robot unless you know how your own body works. You know how it works, huh? Well, not exactly. Your body needs support to hold it up. It's got to have structure. And to find out about that, you need my special megarific intrascopic kineto examino metascope. Mike, for short. Which I, of course, keep hidden away where no nosy kid can find it. Pretty clever, my shining shock absorber. <laughs> I think so. Hear that, Ralphie? Structure's the thing. Gotcha, Miss Frizzle. Okay, so to find out how my body works, I need to know about structure. But well, what's Mike got to do with it? Hmm, wonder what this button does. Wow, check out all those bones. I've got it. My bones must be the structure Miss Frizzle was talking about. Cool. Uh, I mean, it's chilly in here. <laughs> Looks to me like your bones support all the other parts of your body. And some of them are like neat little cages protecting your squishy parts, like your heart and your lungs. See? That's it! My robot needs structure! All we need to do is find some stiff parts like bones, and Ralphie Bot is born!
Everyone, I command you, Ralphie Bot, make me a sandwich. Let's see, there's Busty Tail, Eraser Patrol, Chair Management. Quiet, I need to concentrate. Listen to me, Ralphie Bot. Make me a sandwich now! Which he doesn't move or bend. He doesn't do anything. <laughs> Just like Ralphie. Hey, where's Arnold? Over here, you guys. Wow, look at that. Arnold's tying his shoe. What's the big deal? Check it out. Arnold's elbow lets his arm bend in the middle. That's the difference between us and Ralphie Bot. I see now. It's not the bones themselves that let someone move. It's the way they're joined together. Of course! It's the joints that let the bones move. Don't go away. Hurry back, Ralphie. Radius says that the customer will be here any minute. Can I come out now? Find the problem yet, are you? Mm. One thing's for sure. Your levitation linkage is leaky. <gasps> Sorry, my little... It ain't gonna rain no more, no more. It ain't gonna rain no more. Whoa! Rain no Excuse more. me, Miss Frizzle, but no let's more. say you need to make some connections. But you don't know how. Mm, you mean connections as in meeting the right people. Connections as in a cable TV hookup. Or connections as in joints to let your bones move. Um, probably closer to the last one. Everything hinges on making the right connections, my boy. <laughs> Time to buckle down before my next appointment gets here. Catch my bent. This door hinge is perfect. It goes back and forth, but not sideways. It's just like Ralphie's elbow joint. This shower head has a joint that can move in all directions. Just like Ralphie's shoulder. And this thing's got a whole series of joints. Perfect for a backbone that bends and twists. Now Ralphie Bot can move and do all the things I do. At my old school, we weren't allowed to make a robot that could move. Well, Keish, ready to admit that this is the greatest idea in the history of kid kind? We'll see, Ralphie. We'll see. Ralphie, it's amazing! Yup. Kind of reminds me of me. <laughs> I command you, Ralphie Bot. Bow to your ruler and master, Ralphie the Magnificent! It's not bowing. Do you blame it? I wouldn't either. <laughs> Come on, you guys! I don't get it! It's got bones for structure. It's got joints for flexibility. Why won't it move? <laughs> Hi, you lose, Ralphie. No way! If I can move, it can move. Come on, guys. We gotta find out how to make that robot move! This red and blue button must do something. What do you see? What do you see? I see your muscles pulling your bones up and down and back and forth. Hey, do that again. That's it, the missing link. It's your muscles that pull your bones to make them move. Exactly. The reason the robot didn't move a muscle was because he didn't have any. <clears throat> well, didn't everybody know that? But where are we going to find some muscles? <gasps> Liz! I've got it! Look at this. 
These things work just like muscles. One pulls this way. And one pulls the other way. That makes sense, because according to my research, muscles can only pull on things, not push them. Seems to me, if we all pull together, we can make Ralphie Bot move. Let's do it! He's even more than I imagined he'd be. I think it's really going to work. An amazing combination. Bones for structure, joints for flexibility, and muscles for movement. Well, he's certainly an improvement on the original, that's for sure. Personally, Keisha, I think you're jealous, because I'm going to win the bet. But that's okay, because none of us will ever have to do chores again when I say, Ralphie Boy, clean the bus. <gasps> Guys, I think he moved. by your ingenuity. Oh, sorry, Miss Frizzle. I, I didn't tell him to do it. Yes, you did, Ralphie. He heard you say you wanted him to clean the bus.
unhinge those hinges and debone that robot before it wipes out our entire class! Ah! Isha, get me that screwdriver! That's all, Ralphie. Do what you have to do. You're okay, Keisha. No joints. No movement. No muscles. No movement. I really wish I didn't have to do this, but it's the only way. Kinda hate to see the robot go like that. The kid did a good job. Ah, oh, that's my Ralphie. No movement. No nothing. Hey, you okay, you okay Ralphie? Ralphie? Looks like you stopped them all right. I take back what I said, Ralphie. The robot wasn't such an improvement after all. Tell me about it. I took a chance. I got messy. And what do I have to show for it? Don't feel bad, Ralphie. You didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, you were on the right track. And we did find out that bones and joints and muscles are just as important for a robot as they are for us. Maybe next time it'll work. Hope so. Good help is always hard to find. Why, Liz, thanks, I'm touched. So, I guess it all goes to prove something, doesn't it, Ralphie? Yup. When you've got all the moves like I do, it's pretty hard to make improvements. Yeah. Unless you're a magic school bus, that is. There was nothing wrong with the shrinker scope, my little wing nut, and you knew it. <laughs> and looks like your other customer never showed up, are you? Oh, yes, they did. As I always say, wahoo! Is this the magic school bus? Is this the magic school bus? Magic school bus. Magic the magic school bus. 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 I want the magic school bus. I want the magic school bus. Well, I'll tell you this, Liz. It's the first time Valerie, Miss Frizzle, has paid my mechanics fee in robots. Get that, will you? Body shop, where the best come to get better. Hi. The producer over at the Magic School Bus told me to talk to you. I just watched a show on body mechanics, and I think you know a lot more about fixing things than you do about human bodies. Is that so? For instance? Well, for instance, there are a lot more bones and muscles in the human body than you actually showed. Of course there are. And did you know there are 27 bones in the hand alone? And it takes 14 muscles to make a funny face? That's pretty amazing. But what about ligaments and tendons? You didn't even talk about them. You're right, kid. But we can't show everything in a half hour. Ligaments are bands that hold the bones at your joints together, so they don't move too far in the wrong direction. And tendons hook your muscles to your bones so you can hop and jump around. People aren't the only things that work that way, you know. Of course not. Cats, dogs, horses, snakes, fish, even lizards need bones and joints and muscles to move. But some animals, like insects, don't have bones at all. Instead, they have a stiff covering on the outside, which works with the muscles on the inside to let them move. Come on, it takes more than bones, joints, and muscles to build a real robot. I mean, it would need a battery or an engine for energy and some sort of brain to control it. Are you saying that the Ralphie bot is brainless? Well, yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Well, all I can tell you is this. For not having a brain, he makes a pretty good Sunday. <laughs> Thanks for checking in. Surfing on the sine wave, 
It's a wild ride. Come on, ride right on the magic school bus. 